Hey guys, it's Tina, and um, Happy New Year, it's 2011, I'm so, so excited. 2010 was a really good year for me, and so, oh my god, I sound like I'm so old, but 2010 was a real, one of the best years of my life, and I'm really excited, and hopefully 2010 will be even better. So, today I'm going to show you guys all my lip products, because a lot of the videos I've been making lately have been only hauls and collections. So, I have a list of, I think, 10 new videos that are coming up. Um, and I'll leave a list maybe in the down bar. So, yeah, I will. Um, so, let's get started. I have these tubes of lip glosses that are, are just look like this. They're very nice and sleek. The only thing is, once one of these popped in my pocket, so you have to be careful because it's, like, really filled with air. So, um, that's the only really thing I can say bad about these. I really love them. So, this one's a really nice color in Grapefruit Blast. It smells amazing. I was like, not grapefruit, just something really sweet and nice. So I love this one. And it's a perfect combination because some of the lip glosses are full of glitter, which is okay like when you really want that. But when you don't want glitter, this one's perfect. So again, these tubes run for 7 bucks each. And this is Grapefruit Blast. I didn't already say that. Then I have this one just clear with a lot of sparkles or glitter. And this is in Sugar High. I haven't opened that one yet, so I can't give you a review. Also, this is a brand new one in Sweet Gleam. It's a holiday collection. It's like the same skin tone as my hand, almost. But it has more, like, iridescent color in there. And it has, like, gold and silver. And it's very, very nice. So I'm really excited. Then I have this beauty, same thing, the Beauty Rush one. And this one's, like, done. It's, like, none left. And it's an iced teased, which smells amazing, like iced tea. And, oh, I love it. So good but they don't even make it anymore so I, I'm just not going to use it because I don't want to get rid of it and then I have one more from the Beauty Rush collection and it's this one it's brand new also so I can't give you a review and I don't know what it smells like but it's loaded with tons and tons of glitter you probably can't see because of my quality but this one's in Cupquake <clears throat> and I'm sorry for my terrible quality but um, I have this camera that's used meant for like it's made for YouTube but my, when I put the card in, the SIM card says cards is locked. So I have to fix that. And then after that, all my videos will be on a good camera. So um, I have these other ones, just like the tube ones. And this is the Liplicious Tasty Lip Color in Dark Kiss. It's a very nice dark purple color. And I did open this one. And it's actually pretty sheer. I'll put some on. It's very nice. And... It smells amazing, and this is, you can find these at Bath and Body Works, yeah. Then I have this one, which is from Claire's. It's just one that I really don't like. It's really thick, and their packaging stinks, and it's, um, very, like, thick consistency, so I hate it. Like, if I go like this, I get stuck, and this one is in, hmm... I don't know, because I had it for like two years, and I haven't even, one year, and I haven't even used it. Okay, then I have this last tube, and it's a Neutrogena Lip Soother, a Cooling Hydro with SPF 15, 20, and color Sheen 50. And it's like a red lip, um, a red lip gloss, and it's very nice because it does kind of the same thing that, um, Icy Hot does, so it like cools your lips, which is really nice, and I love it. So, Neutrogena, it's very nice. So I have all those, and then I have a couple chapsticks. I don't really carry them with me on me right now. Well, I have only three. But I have my pure soft lips. And soft lips are absolutely amazing. This one's in pomegranate, and it's just clear. And I had one in vanilla, but it broke. And I have a bunch of them, but they're really dark. Like, I have one that's, like, in honey and... Um, a bunch of them, but I don't use them, so this is really the only one I want to show you guys because it's the best one. It's in pomegranate. And it works amazing. Then I have these Nivea ones. This one's a kiss, oops. This one is in the Kiss of Shimmer, a Kiss of Shimmer. And it's just pearl, like a pearl kind of thing. And it's really nice, but I just don't even use it anymore because I love my soft lips, so I use that. And I have this one in just a clear version. And then I have this Beauty Rush Double Balm Stick from Victoria's Secret, if you were wondering. In Citrus to the Second Power. 
but you can't even see me. Anyways, and it's just like this really, their packaging, I mean, they're, like, it's not really the best, because it kind of like, I don't know, but it's just like a really nice, it works amazing. It's a chapstick, and it has like two different colors in it, so. Get it, Citrus the Second Power. No? Okay. Um, then I have these e.l.f. lip glosses. Sorry about my voice. I was yelling all night last night because I was at my dad's restaurant for New Year's. So it was really crazy. And I was singing. And oh my god, it was nuts. It was so much fun. Then I have these six Hyper Shine glosses from e.l.f. And their packaging is very nice and sleek. They look just like that. And um, their brushes are very nice and soft. And I have three of them in the color Flirt, which is my favorite color. It's like an orangey peach color. Then I have one in the color Va Va Voom, which is a nice, like, red kind of violet color. Then I have one in Vixen, which is more of an orangey red. And one in Fairy, which is like my skin tone color. So I like these because they're only a buck each, whereas these tubes run for seven, but these last so much longer because this has very little product. But I mean, you can't expect that much for a dollar, and they're not really long lasting at all. Okay, then I have a, some rant. Oh, I have another um, tube, and it's just an NYC um, lip plumper, so it makes your lips big, and I don't use this ever. And I don't even know what color it is because it's super old. So, got to throw that out. Then I have this, which I got one year for Christmas. And it's just a lip gloss duo thing. And it's terrible. I hate it. It's just this really crappy um, lip gloss. And the packaging sucks, so I hate this. Never used it before. Just wants to try it. Then I have my favorite, which they give you in every single... Whenever you get like a Clinique makeup package, they always give you this. It's the Clinique SPF 15 Long Last Glossware in Aircus. It's really nice. Love that. Then I have um, this lip plumper from Sally Hansen. Um, it's a lip inflation. And the brush is really nice. It's like um, that kind of brush, which is my favorite kind. I hate getting the ones that are like this. I hate those. I like the actual bristles brush. Okay, then I have a... This is my last lip gloss. Oh, and I have a Skittles chapstick in Wildberry. It smells amazing. And I have a Beauty Treats shimmery lip gloss. And I don't know what color it is in. But just really nice. I use this over um, over lipstick because it's really nice and long lasting. And it works with amazing, works amazing with lip gloss, lipsticks. Okay. So then I have a bunch, of, not a bunch. These are the last lip products. I have four lipsticks. And um, I don't really like lipstick. I never wear it. Only when I'm doing looks for people because I love putting makeup on people. Um, I have this one which is from... NK, I think that sounds, stands for, I have no idea, but it's like those dollar lipsticks, and I never use it, if you can tell, it's brand new, and it's just in color, glamorous pink, and I'll give you guys a swatch of that. It just looks like that. So, I mean, I don't know why I never use it, but it's just, it's, it, if you rub it out, it comes right out. So, it's not really the best consistency, but it's okay. I like it for a dollar. Then I have this, which is a Peacekeeper Paint Me Truthful. And this one's actually really nice. It's, if you go on um, Peacekeeper, just search it up on Google or whatever, Bing, you can get the website. And I'll put a link down there if you want to get one in the link, in the um, down bar. I love this lipstick. It's um, in Paint Me Truthful and it's just very nice. I'm almost done with it. If you look at it, you may think that it's a little difficult to wear. It's right there. It's very nice and dark. But if you just put some lip gloss over, I'll put it on my hand for you guys. Really gross, but um, 
And if you don't put too much, it looks amazing. So there's it with some lip gloss, and I'll put it by itself again. That's a swatch with that lip gloss, and that's a swatch with lip gloss. I absolutely love it. Then I have this one, which is from Jordana, which is a thing that sells in almost every, like, not like a Rite Aid or something, but um, more of a little small community um, pharmacy. They sell these in dollar stores. They're just a Jordana made in the USA, and this is in color Perfect Pink. They're, everything they have is like a dollar, so this is like a nude color. And I don't like it. I don't know. I don't really wear new. I don't even wear lipstick, like I said before. But there it is. You can't even see it. Maybe a little bit. And the last lip gloss lipstick I have is another Jordana one in matte red. And I use this to like paint on people's faces and stuff. And it's not even that matte of a red. It's more. It has a little. Um, there it is. It's okay. I mean, it's not the matte right I've seen, but those are all my lipsticks, in case you were wondering. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.